Hey everyone, Caleb with the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with uh, where you can find the copyright year in your books that you guys are looking at. So you might be a book collector, you might be a book buyer, you might be a book seller. For me, I'm a book seller and a collector and a big time reader also. And sometimes I like to find out when the book that I'm reading is from, especially when it's an antique book. When it's a newer book, I generally already know, especially if we're talking about something that's a new release. So uh, here's actually an antique book right here. Uh, I know it says the year on the outside. You'll never have this basically, but because because this is more of a textbook side of, uh, sort of thing. It actually does say the year on the outside. So this one's from 1912. So that is a spoiler on what we're looking at. But if you guys don't know the year, uh, just be sure to open up your book. Here's the first page. Uh, this one's an antique, so it has some uh, dinginess and dirtiness and uh, someone's name stamped on it. But uh, next page, uh, then the page after that. Sorry, it's an old book, so pages are sticking a bit. But page after that, you have something called the title page. So the title page, it has the obviously the title. It'll have the author's name. It'll have some other information sometimes. And uh, if you're dealing with an antique book, sometimes it'll even have the year printed on that particular page. If that year is a later year than what the copyright page uh, says, or if it's even the same year, that is the year that it was printed. If it's a year earlier than the copyright page, there's something weird going on. But with that said, on the other side of the title page, you have something called the copyright page. And there it is right there. I, if you guys can't read it, I'm going to actually have a photo right here. And uh, on that photo, you guys can actually see uh, the copyright information a little more clearly. So as you guys can see on that though, the copyright for this particular book is 1912. And it'll say who did the copyright. It'll have some other information. And uh, with older books, that's going to generally be all the information on it. Sometimes it'll say reprintings. And if it's a reprinting uh, or if it has a couple different years, it means you're not dealing with the first edition. This book is a first edition. Uh, but it might say reprint. It might say... Uh, let's see, revised, it'll say other sorts of things like that. Copyright renewed is something you'll see very often. Those are all things telling you that it's not a first edition, but it'll tell you still the year that the book was printed. And uh, oftentimes if you have a book that is old enough or rare enough, it can actually be worth a whole lot of money. So uh, that's why I actually sell books is I found out how much money these books can be worth. I found that my average sales price for all the books that I sell, my average sales price is $70. And I buy my books for like generally $2 and under 99% of the time. So I can make some really, really good money. And if you guys wanted to try that out, you can uh, check that out as well. Uh, subscribe below and you can actually see everything that I do. My entire business is laid out actually because I want to get as many other book resellers as I can out there to save as many books as I can. There's no paywalls. I don't do that. Uh, the closest thing to a paywall I have is I have some affiliate links down below that you can check out uh, if you do want to take on the entire book selling business. But uh, that's basically all that you really have to do for finding the copyright page uh, and finding the year and finding the printing all that sort of stuff. If you do not have the copyright page, there are quite a few things that that can mean. Uh, one is that it's not like an official book, like sometimes pamphlets won't have copyright pages. Uh, if it's from a company, it probably will, but sometimes you don't get that. Uh, other times, it will be a really, really old book. I have a lot of really, really old books. In fact, I have one here. Excuse me. Uh, this one here is from the 1890s, I believe, and it doesn't have a copyright year on it. So you just have the title page right here. Uh, you have a pretty old illustration, which I'll show you guys in two seconds as soon as I can get to it. But you have a pretty old illustration. Sorry for how wobbly that was. Uh, but, oops. And then on the other side of that, you don't have a copyright page. And it is the case with a lot of really old books. It won't say it at all, which can be a little annoying, but that's sort of what you have with some of the really old books. So if that's the case with your book that you're looking at, your book very may, may well be from the 1910s and earlier. That's a lot of the books that I find is when it's like 1910 and older, it doesn't always have a copyright page. Uh, that's not always the case. I have found some newer books that also like don't have it, but that is something that I have personally found sort of be the cutoff. Um, when you get really into the antique book selling or collecting and you're like me, you'll be able to look at a book and automatically be like, oh, this is from the 1910s or, oh, this is the 1880s. Oh, this is, you'll get pretty good at it. Like, it's funny. I used to do this business with my mom and I'd walk up to a stack of books. And I'm like, okay, this one's antique. This one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, wow. This one's really cool. This, this one's the 1850s. And like, just from the outside, you'll eventually get to that point. Uh, I don't know what exactly I look at. I think it's mostly just because it's like become second nature to me which is sort of sad and nerdy but it's also really cool it's like a weird superpower I don't know but uh, that's something that you guys will eventually learn as you do the business so if you'd like to learn more about the business I actually have a link here uh, to another video what is antique book selling I'd love for you guys to subscribe I'd love for you to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next video